Hi, my name is Ruby Chase. I'm here to tell you a little bit about Snake Charmer, where it came from, how the song came to be, how the music video came to fruition, and the process since then, and getting it to you. Roll camera. Rolling. And action. Play. Let's go. This video is extremely sexy, and it's really, really important that we're representing our sensuality and that sexiness in a way that is empowering to women and that speaks to a greater type of enchanting that is far beyond you trying to pick someone up at a club, but it's more of this divine beauty being so radiant and unabashed that the world can't help but notice and witness and love. That's the energy that we were really going for. So during the video shoot, we had so many moments where we'd be in our heads and in choreography and we would just bring it into our bodies, bring it into our hearts. In silence, just allow yourself to attach yourself to one very clear image that represents the goddess that you are embodying. And it could be yourself, it could be a deity, it could be an angel type, it could be like whatever it is, but like one very specific image. We had been tossing around ideas about different video ideas, different concepts, and even we weren't so sure on which song was even going to be the one yet. Um, because at this point I hadn't released anything yet. I was writing for a lot of big artists, trying to find my sound, working with a ton of producers. I call it producer dating because you really have to have the right chemistry with people to make that kind of music. And I had a catalog of about 60 songs that we were looking at. And one day I met up with my dear friend Kamala Mathis and she had this back house in her backyard that they would rent out for Airbnb. And they were in the process of converting it into what it is now, which is called the Space Shift. And she asked me before I left, hey, do you wanna check out, check out our back house? And so I went back with her and when I walked in, I got total chills because it was the same environment as a vision I had had of the Snake Charmer video. Hold, 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 move, move. On the other side of things, too, my boyfriend and his team of Rave Train are my total family, and they are incredible at producing videos. So I reached out to them around the same time and asked them, hey, would you guys be interested in doing my music video? And they were super enthusiastic and excited and just yes and down to do it all. So we got the pieces in the puzzle in order, set a date for March 5th, which was um, five days before my birthday, which was really exciting. And got all the last pieces in order to make this video a reality. Ceiling. Big walk here. The space shift as our location was so perfect in so many ways and it also posed a lot of challenges. Um, the room itself is about the size of a garage and in the video it looks like we are in this total den, this place far away from the United States, far away from any civilization <laughs> in this fantasy world. So we had the challenge of making a 10 by 13 room feel like an entire universe. So we had three setups, which were each wall, and we got in there two days before and started decoring. 
uh, there was a funny moment when me and the girls had kind of put things in a corner and made what we thought looked like a set. And Danny came in and looked at it. And he's like, what is that? <laughs> We're like, it's a set. And he's like, this looks like, you know, a backdrop for, you know, it's like, it's not a picture, like, it's a video shoot. We have to create an environment. We have to create dimension. And so he tears everything down. It's like midnight. We're all like, oh my gosh, he just tore all the work down that we did. And he just starts going at it and like pinning things and moving things around. And he's not necessarily a decor guy, but he really saw the vision of what we needed to have with this immersive environment where these goddesses lived and breathed and where the story could come to life. So we took it all down, put it all back up and created that first scene where we did the Shiva arms. Um, That was the goddess den. Then we had the second look, which was the girls where we did the dance number. And there we had a challenge of how do we get all of the girls in the frame while and be far enough back while we're in this tiny, tiny room and make it feel and look expansive. So that was another challenge, but we figured it out and we worked with medium shots and the two different cameras that we had. And the third setup was the chair. And that chair actually was already in the room. That's another thing that Kamala so generously let us dance with and use. And uh, the gold pieces were there as well. So we moved the chair in front of the gold pieces and that that set really came to life. Um, The final piece for that scene as well was the headdress that I was wearing, which wasn't planned. The day of the shoot, Deb Rubin, who was the other belly dancer, it was me in the chair and then Roxanne and Deb, she brought that headdress that day without knowing much of what this was besides that she was going to be belly dancing in the song. And she brought the headdress and she's like, would you want to wear this in any of it? And that headdress is like a thousand dollar headdress. Like that is so beautiful and such an antique piece. Um, And that last costume as well, I had never tried on with the headdress. So I put on that final outfit where about, you know, the last few hours into shooting and I covered myself in glitter and I tried on the headdress and it was like the magic moment of truly feeling embodied into that character. I felt like I was in a palace. It all really came together and it was such a group effort. Every little piece that came together, every challenge that was brought just made the video so much more than it started out as. In preparation to the music video, we really wanted to look and feel our best. And me and a lot of the girls in the video actually ended up doing a 10 day transformation leading into it, which is green superfoods, uh, a really healthy way to just like slim and cut and trim and feel our best. And so we used Purium products, we did the 10 day transformation and the shoot was actually on day 10. So we were all feeling amazing, feeling our glowiest and just ready to be on camera, which felt amazing, of course, because you work so hard for something and then to feel really ready on shoot day was exactly what we could ask for. And (laughs) we ended the video shoot with like burgers and fries, like totally off the rails of our cleanse, but we had done it. It was good. The video is called Snake Charmer. It would not be complete without having snakes in it. So we started the search and we put out a memo on Facebook and asked our friends and family, you know, who out there has snakes? Is, and you can almost predict how they're going to hold on a little bit. So if I bring it here, he's obviously going to kind of like hold my neck a little bit tighter. Um, he likes to hold on a little bit. The snakes belong to Adelaide, who's a friend of ours. She's an amazing belly dancer. Her and her sister dance with the snakes all over the world. And their names are Visuti and Misoko. Um, they are professional performing dancing snakes. That is what they do. That is what they they have grown up doing and refining. So their ability to perform really matched my ability to perform and it became this 
amazing relationship between me and the snake and the snakes at some times. Follow me. The snakes were so magical. So many people watching the video were like, how are you not freaking out? Uh, you don't like snakes? No, uh, <laughs> no, I'm not a snake guy. Working with the snakes actually really calmed me down. They're an extremely grounding presence. And even just having the weight and this other creature that I got to dance with gave me something to focus on that wasn't the cameras right in my face and the whole production around. It was really my relationship with this beautiful creature. Um, and it was an experience like I have never had before. It was so beautiful. So we had these amazing big nail pieces which were glamorous and I feel like truly make the video. Um, but handling the snakes with the nails was a little bit treacherous at times. You have to be delicate with their scales and making sure you're moving with them. And there were moments for sure where <laughs> I was trying to work it with the snake, but the fingernails were a bit in the way. I just want to be able to like really like dance with them. And I've been like, like so feel like I have to be really like, gentle around them. But all in all, everything went really, really smooth that day. And it was a powerful reflection at the end of the day to get from Kamala, who is an amazing mentor of mine. And she's a total inspiration of a producer and just like a she boss, you know, she's amazing and powerful in her womanhood. And she gave me the reflection at the end of the day that this is the type of production that she wants to support and these are the type of people she wants to create with and that everyone was so kind and thoughtful and considerate and caring throughout the entire experience in her home which was really 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 important to me so that was one of the biggest blessings of the entire day was just getting her praise and you know being able to feel really confident in my team as people and as creators. Snake Charmer has been four years in the making. <laughs> this has been quite a process and it all began when I first had moved to LA. I went to this amazing rooftop party, they call it Meeting of the Minds, and I walked in and first thing right off the bat met Jordan Casti who is this amazing performer and musician and when we were talking and connecting we both were doing the same thing we're writing we're creating he asked me what kind of music I make and I said I make indie pop meets tribal bass and he pointed to this guy on the couch and he goes see that guy that's Garrett Eaton he's your new producer and called it straight out so I look over I see Garrett we start talking and what I was looking for at the time was really someone that could embody organic elements with world sounds and weave it in that still could be mainstream enough. And we just clicked. The three of us started talking and really getting inspired. The next week we set up a session and got in the studio, started writing, and Snake Charmer was born. Don't cover I am Ruby Chase and welcome to my channel. I will be releasing videos every Tuesday right here. So make sure to like and subscribe down, give a big thumbs up. And if you are following this channel, expect to see how to videos, more behind the scenes stuff, more music videos, covers, dance offs, comedy sketches, all sorts of crazy stuff. So please join me on the adventure. I'm so excited you're here and I cannot wait to share more with you.